1998, one of the most disturbing discoveries of the 20th century was made in a small town in the state of Alabama. During that summer, a few residents of the city of Roebuck alerted the authorities to the presence of a decaying, rusty trailer located on the outskirts of the city, just a few yards away from a small residential area. Occasionally, faint screams and groans could be heard coming from the inside of the seemingly abandoned trailer during the late afternoon hours of the day, which most of the residents of the small neighborhood mistook for children playing, until one day, an elderly woman living alone in one of the homes grew paranoid about the distressing noises and called the police. When they arrived, the authorities quickly began to search the small trailer. Upon first glance, it did indeed seem to be deserted. The only furnishings found inside were a slightly rusted metal folding chair, a stained, flower-patterned couch that held the strong smell of mildew, and a surprisingly new-looking patio table. To the police squad's befundlement, there seemed to be nothing too suspicious inside of the trailer. The same did not go for the small space underneath it, however. Under a poorly done mound of dirt, a small briefcase was excavated from the bottom of the old trailer. Inside of it, the authorities discovered 14 VHS tapes with no labels or sticks whatsoever. The contents of the tapes was pretty much all exactly the same, but they all had different people featured in them. The tapes all started out in the same fashion, an immediate fade in from black that revealed a small child strapped into the same metal chair that was found in the trailer. The children all seemed to have the same terrified expression on their faces as the camera started to focus on them. Their eyes were all red and sunk in, and despite the black duct tape placed over their mouths, they could all be heard sobbing. A few seconds into the video, the child in question would suddenly look up and start crying even harder than before. The shadow of the cameraman was always seen in this portion of the videos. He seemed to be holding up a small animal of some sort. Judging by the shape of the shadow its body would cast and the small whimpers it made, it was most likely a rabbit or something similar. The cameraman held the animal above his head for a short portion of time before abruptly swinging into the air and then throwing it down onto the ground with such force that it let out a horrible shriek. You could hear a few bones breaking and snapping as well. As you may imagine, this only made the child try and scream, but the sound was muffled and barely audible. As the child was still screaming, the cameraman picked up the still breathing rabbit and played around with it, swinging its limp body back and forth and bouncing it up and down. You could see a large amount of blood coming out of it. In the middle of this, the cameraman would ask, What's wrong? And then the name of the child. I thought you loved animals. The child did not respond at all. He or she merely sobbed quietly. The cameraman then took an obviously fraudulent, sad tone of voice. Aw, there, there. You can still play with the bunny after I'm done with it, okay? Upon saying this, the man took out a large hunting knife and immediately dove it into the rabbit's stomach. The shrieks and squeals of the terrified creature seemed to cause mixed reactions in the children. In a few of the videos, the children seemed to faint at this horrific sight, others only sat and tried to scream. In the worst case, they saw a small girl who seemed to be around the age of six, apparently vomited. But since her mouth was taped closed, a bit of it came out of her nostrils, which made her scream in agony. Then she seemed to go limp as her eyes rolled back in her head. The video cut off prematurely in this case. For the children that stayed alive, the cameraman tossed his hunting knife on the floor beside him and then swung the dead rabbit over his head like a helicopter blade. Blood and innards went all over the inside of the trailer and all over the terrified children. As they continued to cry even harder, their terrified little eyes focused on the left side of them. Suddenly, as the man said, Look, name of child, it wants to say hello to you. Immediately after this was said, the video abruptly cut off. The ending of the videos were all exactly the same thing. A red tinted picture of a cross was shown in the background as the words, Thanks for visiting, name of child, were displayed in white lettering at the top, with Jesus loves you being displayed at the bottom. Ever since this case, the city of Roebuck has gained some level of infamy in the state of Alabama. Even though the case was first opened in 1992, no further evidence of any murders have ever been found in the area. 
None of the children were ever identified, and ever since then the old rusty trailer has been torn down, and now the area serves as the location of a children's playground. If you ever decide to visit there, I bet you'd be surprised at the number of wild rabbits that occupy the area. Strangely, they love playing with the kids that go there, and a few of them even try and follow them home. <laughs>